This is a beak, and it's a really, really useful body part on a bird. And birds use it for eating, for killing their prey, for feeding their young, and even for mating. But of all those uses, eating is the most important one. And it turns out that every beak on every bird is specially adapted for that bird's individual diet. There are long beaks, short beaks, fat beaks, skinny beaks. Beaks come in all different shapes and sizes. And the shape and size that they have is very, very specifically tailored to the diet of that bird. Here, let me show you some examples. We've got ourselves an anatomically correct bird model who's going to show you how these different shaped beaks help the birds get the food they need. So we're really doing this? I'm a bird. Flap, flap. Let's look at what kind of specialized beaks can be used for eating different kinds of food. Flap, flap. Now this beak is short and it's sharp. And that makes it really good for swooping down and picking up insects off the ground. This next beak is long and sharp and really, really tough. And that makes it great to chisel through wood. And birds like, well, woodpeckers use these to peck through wood and then eat the insects that they find underneath the bark of the tree. We can't forget hummingbirds. Hummingbirds have these really long, slender beaks, and they use them almost like a straw. And they swoop down and they suck up nectar or dew, and that's a big part of their diet. It's a great adaptation. All these beaks are just really, really great at what they do. I mean, there's so many different kinds of beaks out there, I could never possibly name all the different shapes and all the different uses. And look at this pelican. I mean, see that crazy pouch under the beak? That is used so it can skim the water, scoop up a fish, and then the pouch hangs down, and then the fish can flop around in there, but it can't get out, and the pelican holds it until it stops flopping, and then it eats the fish. I mean, that's just crazy how specialized that beak is for eating fish. And what about birds of prey, like hawks? They have these incredibly sharp beaks, kind of hook-shaped. And they swoop down and they pick up little rodents, and those sharp beaks allow them to kill their prey and then cut it up so they can eat it. I mean, without specialized beaks, we wouldn't have the vast array of birds eating the vast array of diets that they do. That makes me wonder, what if humans had beaks? What kind of beak would be best adapted to my American diet? Hmm. Yikes.